Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of FTB Skies Expert. We're uh, back again today on the Sky Island. And uh, things around here look a little bit different than uh, the last episode where we left off. We uh, actually did a live stream in between in between those two episodes and um, we did some pretty important things. Uh, I'm going to show them off here at the beginning so that way, you know, you can keep in the know without having to watch the uh, the entire VOD of that stream. Uh, it is posted if you want to go watch it as of the recording of this, but um, I'm just going to highlight some of the main things that we did during it, just because uh, some of them are pretty integral to the progression. So the very first one is that we set up this uh, storage lectern uh, with our bookworms here, and this has been a game changer. For sure uh it essentially is a storage like item thing kind of like a ae system uh, that has a crafting table and everything and allows us to you know use it without a uh, without having to clutter up our inventory all the time like, i can just dump items into it like this right and uh the way you use this is you right click on a storage container like this drawer or this chest over here and you then click on it again with this wand and then it connects it as you can see we have 43 connected inventories and they all have to be within like a 30 block radius right uh i have some chests down here that i added that are just kind of like bulk miscellaneous storage but it's hooked up to all of these and everything and whatnot and so yeah um, another thing we did that is kind of important, we expanded our pedestal uh, mining apparatus thing uh, to collect some of these resources for us, which is very neat, very neat. I gotta figure out the gravel one because uh, it gets flint in it. This is a simple fix, but I just haven't done it yet. Um, we built this uh, berry farm with a planter pedestal and a harvester pedestal and have it collecting berries uh this was needed for another progression step which was to actually make cake um i know it sounds weird but it's needed for the the progression a cake and to make one it's not easy it uh takes you know you need like a cake base and you need to make cake batter which is all this stuff and everything and then you have to put icing which is why we needed the sweet berries and everything and milk and all that and uh that's why these guys are set up here some chickens to get some eggs and then some cows for the milk but that's that squared away we also did this over here we set up the production for blast bricks right and did so in a manner that allowed us to when we come down here down to our underneath area here we set up the uh the basic blast furnace right and we use this to make steel and steel is essential for some of the crafting recipes that we have to do which is all very nice this system right here is something that i came up with uh it uses these items called uh display cases and essentially what these do is allow our uh they connect right so i connect them to this chest right here so this is the gravel chest right and when it detects that there's an item you know greater than zero which is what it says right there emit at greater than zero it will then send out a redstone signal right and then the redstone signal right uh will wait until that chest is empty and then this turns off right and the power the redstone power that goes into this goes into this pulse extender from create and it lasts 45 seconds right so it's sending as soon as this turns off it's still sending a redstone connection here for 45 seconds okay and that goes over here to this other redstone link that powers this torch which powers uh I'm not sure if it's powering this block or the clutch directly, 
But basically, all this does, in a nutshell, is it allows us to come over here, throw gravel in our chest, and once it does that, it will then shut off the system when it's done sifting, which is really nice, because then I don't have to worry about turning this off uh, manually, right? Um, eventually, we won't even need anything like that, but it's just something that I kind of set up for ease of use, because I, I was accidentally leaving these guys on a lot when I was sifting. Uh, in between episodes to get resources so that's one of the things we did another thing that we did that uh is kind of essential to what we were doing we came over here to our botania section and continued further with that and we actually got the i still don't know how to say this the the kekamurus or whatever flower and we crafted this and we fed it cake which is why we needed the cakes uh, you need a cake to craft this as well and we made a mana spreader and a mana pool and this was like the main progression this is what we need to get continued on further with what we're doing but these are the big things uh like i said if you want to see all of this i think everything except the the berry farm and that little system that i made for the sifter is in the vod um it's about four hours long so i don't i don't blame you if you don't want to watch it but it's, uh, it's in there if you want to see how I did that. And uh, I kind of do a, an explanation when I'm going through it. But with that being said, the fact that we have this mana pool now really wants me to get started with the idea of getting some mana steel meshes because these are going to allow us to uh, not only get different resources, you know, but it's going to allow us to get redstone, which we really need to, you know, not have to kill witches, which is super nice. And then it also just gives like other things in general. So yeah, we're going to get iron ore and stuff. We're going to finally start getting ores from our, from our gravel sifting, which is going to be super nice. So yeah, I'm super pumped to get into it. The very last thing is that we went to the nether because we needed some items from the nether, right? Specifically a uh, amethyst and we used a broom from the x-ray mod which allows us to fly right so i didn't have to build i didn't have to build a bridge again you know and it's it's a pretty cool item other than the fact that uh i reset the key bind so now yeah there we go i reset it so i actually fell off of this and died almost but it's very neat it's very neat and uh we got this loot right here we got some pretty good stuff to be completely honest, the, the nether is kind of stacked, so I would kind of recommend going there as soon as you can. Uh, but it gave us all this cool stuff in here and everything, so yeah. So, let's get started on these mana steel meshes. Um, I currently have some mana steel that I found in some chests, but I need to craft some more for the amount that I need, which is uh, four of these. So, the way we go about doing this is with these magically inclined ingots, right? Which just need these essences, an enchanting apparatus, and then a drenched steel ingot, which is steel, and then our water element infusion. So, we'll grab some of our steel, right? And I don't think we have any. We do have some water shards in here. Um, we're gonna need, since we have 11, oh, five is the perfect amount. We're probably gonna need more than five water shards, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, so to do this, yeah, I was just messing around with this, uh, before. So what I need to do, you are full, full. Can I like just break you and then... No, you, you save the inventory, which uh is nice for most use cases. So we're actually going to make some more of you. Maybe a couple more, to be honest with you. That way we have a... Uh, oh, excess. Well, how do you... There we go. How many can we make? Three. Hopefully that's enough to drain this of what it needs to be drained of. Yeah, so if you're making any farms like this, you need to go into your team settings, right? 
and you need to allow all fake players, right? And this is what will allow this farm to work and these bees to work to harvest the materials that you need, which I think these are full, if I'm not mistaken, really. No, yeah, see this has been harvesting a lot more recently, so that is a plus. Let us now, I really need these uh, impaired pipes to make more of, like to connect up these systems. Do we only have two? Uh, yeah, we do. We can get some more. Because I think these were just surrounded by gold. And we have six of them, so. Shouldn't be a biggie as far as getting the materials that we need. But we will do. Wait. This was contained. Yeah, uses turn you into the piping. My bad, I got all turned around right there. But now we got plenty of this. So we will now hopefully drain. Can I just put you there? No, you don't work like that. Let's see now. Maybe something like this would work. And then disconnect this. And then throw you there. Somewhat of a buffer. Okay. You're empty now. We want to cut you off like that. Alright. And then our water essence is here. Correct. So we will pump you out into there and set up our infuser on top. And in the meantime, also get some more water shards going to hopefully send into there. Yeah. And now we just throw the steel on top and hopefully this turns into our soaked uh, steel. Yeah, there we go. This uses quite a bit as well. I also would like to highlight the fact that too, other than this uh, section regarding the uh, diesel generator, which we will eventually get going. Um, I want a couple more things set up in place before I start doing that. Um, just so that way I can have this in a more automatable state. But uh, we're close to this. Uh, but basically, we're pretty much on our way to Chapter 2 now, which is kind of what we're doing. We're already starting to do some things that are Chapter 2 progression as far as that goes. But super neat stuff. Um, we're probably going to need more water shards. So let's grab those wherever they may be here. Maybe we could also put this powerful one in there. I think this is the equivalent of nine. And we'll throw. I don't want all these to go in. Let's try that, which will be 10 of that right now. And we're almost there. I also just realized we're going to need five of each of these elements, right? So five of you, five of you, five of you, and then some air shards, like so. you and then one more steel ingot throw him there and we'll get these started while that's going um we really need to get this we really need to get a couple more of these but it works pretty fast because of how much source we have at the moment except that we're not getting any more source which is interesting uh i wonder <laughs> There we go. That spawned something. Have we really just used that much source? That's kind of crazy. It's not a huge deal. Unless this isn't sending anymore. No, it is. Hmm. 
wonder where our source is going. That'd be very interesting to see. Because I don't think it's going there. Unless we used it all for these gems. That might have been what it was. But I will craft these up. And when I'm done doing that, we'll be right back. Alright, folks. We have that all crafted up now. So the only thing we have to do now is just throw it in our enchanting apparatus. So we will do that like so. Really quickly. One of each of you and then our drench still. And this is going to use up some of our source. Luckily we built some up while we were uh, crafting up the, the, uh, the essences. So, I'm just going to craft these really quickly. Okay, that's the five ingots that we need. Now we need to take them over to the mana pool, and I'm going to grab some cakes, because I'm not sure if uh, the one cake that we already plopped down is going to be enough for all five of these, but we'll we'll figure it out, we'll see. And I think we just drop you in here. If I can. Honestly, I want to move you up the block. I'm able to. Like so. And then we set you down like that. And then you to there. Okay. That way we can drop these in a lot easier. And we're going to need one more cake. There we go. So now we have the additional five mana steel that we needed originally, which is very nice. And we need to also go grab our andesite meshes. So we do that like, I think you have to be on top to do this. You have to be at this angle. Yeah. Grab those out. Come over here. Now, one more thing we have to do is we have to get some treated sticks. So, don't think, I think that will be enough actually. So, click here, click uses, throw our sticks in, and we should be able to craft up four of those. Very nice, very nice. And now, with this step unlocked, we can take some of our gravel we previously acquired and I will throw it in here like so and yeah there we there we go also by the way if you're wondering what all these uh, red pandas are around everywhere they are um, I'm using the content creator uh it's called like content creator integrations mod and whenever you follow on my twitch on my twitch page it will spawn in a red panda with your uh, twitch username on it so we have one over here that's a twitch follower and then this one over here is another twitch follower so yeah it's pretty interesting and it allows you to do a lot of other cool stuff too but that's just what i'm using it for and yeah, we're getting ores now, which is so nice. Because this means we don't have to primitive slurry anymore, and we just get the straight ores. Which is going to save us a ton of time as far as processing goes. Um, I'm thinking, too, that something else I might like to get... Start. I was doing this over here with some copper. Is maybe making... This is good for like individual item smelting. But I'm thinking of maybe setting up a system where we have like a belt in place maybe. That will cook items and then once it does that it'll send them through. Um, I'm not 100% sure on whether or not I want to do that or if I want to further progress with some quest. Yeah, this is nice. 
How's our gravel doing? Pretty good. I think we should also get some, some dust going at the same time. That way, uh... That way we can get redstone from it, because I'm pretty sure redstone is one of the main things we also get from these new meshes. But yeah. This kind of shows this system at work right here. How it's uh, detecting these. This should be... Hmm. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That, didn't, that one wasn't set up. But you can see that the gravel is powered and that the dust is powered because these both have items in the chest. And that's what's turning our water wheels on. I'm also going to give these guys a quick repair real quick. Just all of them. Because we are doing a lot. But yeah, look at all this. Look at all these goodies. Alright, folks. So I think what I want to work on next is getting a system in place for all the things that we're going to need to do the diesel generator and everything. And so this requires like all these oils and everything and whatnot. And so first step I'm going to do in taking in doing this, I guess you could say, is that I'm going to be using the create fluid tanks just because it's multi-block kind of. I don't know. I mean, I could always just go with one of these tanks when, you know, I get to that point with like mechanism or whatnot. Why are these hmm, steel plates? It's kind of weird. Because I think this metallurgic infuser is like. Hmm. How do you get. Signal and blend. You need electrum blend. Which you get electrum from. Only from an induction smelter. But even then you need silver, which is not easy to get. So we'll just we'll do it this way for now. I think this is gonna be the best way to store a lot of our uh, our fluid for the time being uh, as always you know I can change it it's not the end of the world this is overstressed need some more repairs but we'll let those copper plates craft up and in the meantime we are gonna need a another mixer so I will make one of those and as well another basin And I'm thinking, isn't it called like a drain or something? I wanted to test something with this. Uh, yeah, I wanted to see if we could possibly take, you know, straight from a basin. If not, we could always just pump it out. We'll probably just pump it out, to be honest with you. So we'll get two mechanical pumps if I can find them over here we're just gonna need more copper plates so it's a good thing we're making a bunch of these I'll go ahead and grab these ones we already have just so we can get these these done we will make some fluid pipes because we're just gonna need some in general and then I know we're gonna need at least the one. I don't think we'll need more than two. Hopefully not. But we can make sure to. Or actually, we don't need a mixer. We need a, a press. A mechanical. Mechanical press. There we go. I uh, just need some of these. We really already out of inside alloy again. No, we aren't, but we almost are. We'll make some in a second. But mechanical press. 
now. So that's that squared away. We can throw this mixer back in there. And make some of the tanks. Because I basically just want a ton of uh a ton of this oil to then convert it. So we'll do this and then wherever our barrels went. We'll make like this many for now. I think that'll work. And let's get our wrench. And I'm going to want a funnel as well, which we have. And we could take one of those. Now, I wonder, can we use saplings for the production of this uses? Mixing. No, we can't. It probably has to be seeds, which I think we have a ton of wheat seeds, hopefully. So. Or we do just have a ton of seeds in general from the different resources. So this will get us started at the very least. I also realize we're going to need a water wheel probably, which means we're going to need more andesite alloy. So we'll craft some of this up. And then our andesite. Um, hopefully one water wheel will be enough, but it might not be to do all this. So we'll just see. A bucket of water and then something like let's see uh we need one more thing I'm trying to think oh yeah probably some cogs be nice we're probably gonna need more than one water wheel because i'm probably gonna want to gear ratio this so it's faster but we'll start off with a setup like this so what I'm thinking is base in here, and then you on top, you will rotate you, so that way you function like that. We will have a pump coming out of you with this pulling out, pipe, pipe, into what will be... Yeah, I don't think we can horizontal these, so. Do something like this. That fills up stuff anyway. So we'll just have a tank like this for right now. This will hold 144 buckets, so that's pretty good. And we will now have this set up where this cog is here, this one's there. We honestly could move this closer, which I think I might do, just for convenience sake. Do this and then that. Okay. We're going to need a... Eh, probably going to want a clutch as well. I didn't think about that. So we'll... We're, I'm trying to make this as compact as possible. So that way it's not like all all over the place. But clutch. More casing. I'll make you up. Clutch, like so. Which means we're also gonna need a lever. Like that. And then we can have our, I need building blocks. Goodness, I'm all over the place. I guess what, what we could do real quick though, just for the time being, is set you up and then have you pulling out of there. And then we can put all the seeds in there. Alright. That'll do that. 
and then from there we will have uh, let me get some cobble some of our nice looking cobble and probably a gearbox honestly probably gonna need another one of these so we'll make a couple more of these We'll make that a vertical too, because it's gonna need, need to be one. And I'll make some more anisite casing. Because we're definitely gonna need it for the gear ratio that I'm probably about to perform. Which also I feel like now we're at the point of, can we can we make a speed controller? Because that would be nice. That'd be a lot nicer. We have precision mechanisms. We still haven't set that up. We might do that after this, to be honest. Because that would be nice to have. So that way we don't have to, uh, that way we don't have to just gear ratio everything. Like all the cogs and everything. But we'll make two more of you, so three total. This should give us pretty decent. Let's see you. And we will gearbox you like that into you with a clutch there and then three of you like that lever we'll build up around this so the water doesn't spill over that's what I'm thinking Ooh, that was close do that Hey, dude. Go away. Get away from our block. There you go. We'll turn this on. I'll get those going. And then there's that. Yeah, and so... We'll actually do this. We'll move this a block away. that light overlay off that way we can have something like this we'll make this go like that this and then like you fill the anti casing just do this disconnect here and just, no, I don't want you to be. That's what I get for trying to build it backwards. Okay, and then hopefully one like you, and then one like you like that. And then we'll clutch you, and then we'll water wheel you. Hopefully this should give us some speed. in a way that works uh, effectively. Right? Or did I get this? I think I did this backwards actually. Hold on. Like I said, this is what I get for trying to build it backwards. Put one of you there. One of you, there. yeah, there we go. Put you there, you there. And then overstressed. That's not the end of the world either because we just need to add more water. And we'll put one there and one there. Yeah, and this is going at a much more efficient rate. Now, as you can see, we're producing the vegetable oil now down here and so basically all we're gonna have to do now is just every once in a while come down here and check on this to make sure that it's still still functioning. But that's all fine and dandy. I think we could technically if we really wanted to, we could like speed up a little bit more, but this is like pretty fast. 
I'm just going to keep those stocked. Plenty of seeds. So we'll let that run. In the meantime, uh, what is this next step that we need? This is going to need basin processing. So we need a basin lid. Let's see what this has to do. Give them some sugar and bone meal. Ethanol will be created. Okay. So we'll do that with as soon as you get water a spider eye and sugar like so a clock okay and I think for this one I'm gonna want item transporters maybe just because I feel like they will be easier to work with per se in this use case because I think once the lid is closed, you uh, you have to close it. We're also going to need fluid. Two fluid transporters. Um, now we need a water source here. So the question is, water source. Aqueous accumulator. make one of these I think you should be able to just you should just be able to pull water from either side of you so we'll try that real quick so also grab another chest Also want to have all this stuff kind of together down here. Already two buckets, so we have a basin with the lid, right? We'll have this chest pumping items into it, and then over here we will have. something like this with our aqueous accumulator this actually needs to be one block closer I just realized so we'll do it like is there a way to yeah there we go place you like this fill in these put you there and there and there okay you got the water and now we'll fluid in. Okay, that's getting water. So now we just need a spider eyes and sugar, I think was what it was for this. Yeah. How do I know if you're working? Actually, we'll do this first. We'll try with just one of each. So does it just take longer if there's more of them in there? Is the question or will it just straight up not work? No, it's going. There we go. Okay. 
So I'm thinking something. Oh no, don't do that. Pick you out of there. Flip you out. Like that. I think it actually needs to have one block gap. If I'm not mistaken. Might be wrong though. That's 18 for that one. And maybe we get away with something kind of sneaky here. Uh, don't do that. Place correctly. There we go. Thinking of just running a some shafts like this over the top of these. Hopefully this doesn't break anything. Yeah, there we go. And the ethanol is pumping out into there. Right. Now, ethanol. How much is being produced? 100 millibuckets per spider eye. So, hmm. If we got into this eventually we wouldn't have to need all this but i think we need to do something like this first to just get things set up and then eventually we can move on to that because that's obviously going to be the way to go once we uh have access to the machineries and stuff like that but i think it's important that we have the uh the diesel generator before for all that thinking we could do something like this maybe or we come out here on each of you actually if I play my cards right hold on now I did like this I could hook you up Hopefully with some cogs. And then you would just need to be maybe brought down in a similar fashion, perhaps. But you could go into this space in here with a mixer there that has a big cog like you for speed. And then we could have a God, I need like a drawer with a funnel out the back that then flips you and then you're going to need a I'm going to need a whole nother pump for you and then eventually you'll go into I'll put you over here I'll do one of these ones just because it'll look a little bit nicer but we'll have you running here. Hopefully we can put our other one there so we can have all these in a line. Set you like so, where we flip you around. I wonder, this is going to be the real test right here. It's whether or not this breaks this or not. No, that works perfectly. Okay, so that's those squared away. Now we just need to somehow get rotation to you. It just seems, yeah, now we're overstressed. But that is not a problem because we could technically just add more water wheels. You know, this solution is going to solve the problem to our stress. 
put you there and put you there. Okay. And then you don't run off of that. Which means that... I should have you... Rather have you over here. And have you... Thinking... Of course we don't have the wood. I'd like to have a big call going into that because I think it'll speed it up when it's doing it. So grab you, grab some of these, go like so, uh, we'll grab some normal cogs though, just in case. Maybe a gearbox or so. If we can afford it. Yeah, a couple of them. Some more of you. Okay, we have a wrench. Yeah, let's go down there and get to it. So we could have you go... Why are you getting... Oh. Okay, we have a... We have an issue here. With this. It's taking water out of here. Is there a way to filter... Filter... Pipe... Fluid filter, maybe? Smart fluid pipe. Is this what we need? Okay, yeah, this is what we need. So, that's not too bad to make. We'll do that real quick. For the time being, uh, turn you off. And stop you for just a second. Because you're doing way too much. Uh, well, let's like just get rid of it, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. All right, but we might have to move that a block back, but we'll see. Which also means we're gonna need a bucket of a. Uh, of ethanol. Shouldn't be too difficult to obtain. Smart fluid pipe. Oh, we just need one of these. It just needs that. Okay. Now let's see what we can do. So we'll throw 10 of you in there. Does it have six? Four. I think it's gonna need one more. And we'll break you. And we'll set our smart fluid pipe like that. And then I guess this will be the test if this will pump directly into where we need it to. Only thing that sucks about this is this is kind of messed up this flow, but I guess we could technically move it. We have ethanol here. Oh, but we can't uh, bucket that out. Let's see if this works. It does. Okay. 
So that's good. So we can set this filter here now. And then that also showed us that this works. So we should just be able to... Oh, no. I'll do that. Um... Maybe we get fluid deployer that in, perhaps. We need to get this ethanol out of here because that's not what's supposed to be in there. Let's be able to go like this. It's in bucket mode. So we'll go like you and like you. Put you in receiving. Put you in there. Okay, yeah, it's putting it in there. So. Okay, vegetable oil, ethanol. The intended use of this. Hopefully, water should never go in there again. And then we needed that ever burning essence from uh from up here. Put you here. Oh, did not do that. Ooh, no, stop. Like that. Okay. We'll throw one of you in there. You will make biodiesel, which it does not make enough for a bucket. I need one bucket of this. a diesel bucket put you in there and now we should be able to connect you up in a effective manner by putting you you here like this and then we can throw this essence into here and then you'll just craft that up hopefully and then we'll break this real quick no And there we go, we got biodiesel bio being made. Okay, that was pretty painless, to say the least. I mean, we had a few few things, a few complications come up, but not too bad overall. As always, those guys, uh, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a like, comment, do all that fun stuff. And uh, let me know what you want to see in the future, uh, as far as the series goes. Um, we're quickly approaching 100 subscribers, and... I'm planning out something kind of for that. I mean, I was kind of planning it out genuinely before, you know, but also I'm thinking now that it might be a good opportunity for like a 100 subscriber special thing, maybe. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>